We have another mad boy on the internet. He's big mad. Uh, this one at least had the de the decency to. I don't think it's a rant, Sona, but I will show you the first minute of this video. I only watch, or maybe is it the minute first thirty seconds or whatever. <sighs> cringe, okay? Mega fucking cringe. Think you've seen it all? Now look what they're pushing. And I believe this is about Sweet Tooth, which I just watched every episode of on Tuesday. So let's see. Vorkvoid, thanks so much for the 12 months, dude. So let's see if 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 it's just SJW propaganda. Think you've seen it all? Think again now they're pushing this. Or maybe it's a uh, it's a uh, Satanism. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's going on. This guy's freaking out about Sweet Tooth though. Let's watch it. This is cringe. This is so cringe. What you're about to see? Incredible amounts of cringe. If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was. That's Jesus, by the way. And you come He's attacking Fauci and Bill Gates and 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 Baphomet. To the right place. And some sort of whatever these are. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati the have Illuminati. been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. The Illuminati has been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising welcome. Was he, was he, <laughs> did he put a microphone in the middle of a, of like a gym and walk 10 feet away and record this? To today's show, because people out there share stuff with me on the website at callforanuprising.com, it's easier for people who have requests to get in touch with me so I can cover content. So that's another good reason to- Is he taking a shit? Join the website. A bunch of people- have been asking me to cover this TV show called Sweet Tooth. Okay. Oh, from Netflix. I guess a lot of people have just recently seen it. I have not seen it, but I've seen all I need to see from the trailer and reading about it to oh. know what it's about and what they're trying to do. Okay. I don't know what he thinks they're trying to do, uh, but I've seen this. Uh, nobody is taking the piss. Okay, so Sweet Tooth, I won't give any spoilers. The premise of the show is, uh, and you should watch it. I actually really enjoyed it. It was a little corny at times, but it was it was pretty fun. Um, uh, it was at least interesting. I haven't seen much like this. It's a little YA novel y, but um, <laughs> it, was definitely, it was definitely pretty good. Um, so there is a virus that kills people. Uh, and then also people who get pregnant at the same, around the same time as that had babies and some of the babies were called hybrids and they're part animal. And now those kids exist and people like hunt them because they think they're the virus stuff. There's other societal things that go on there. It's an interesting world. Um, and basically it's a story of this kid searching for someone, um, through an apocalyptic wasteland and sort of picking up help along the way. It's it's cute, it's fun, it's a little dark at times, but it's not like grim dark. it's not like the boys, you know what I mean? So, uh, it's pretty fun. They don't actually show, I don't think that's rated R, I don't think they swear or show many much, um, they show a little blood. Um, yeah. A virus that kills people. Well, yes, it kills them very quick, and they, they, you know how in YA novels they have, like, nicknames for everything? Like in, in Shadow and Bone, which I actually liked. The series was actually really good. I like Shadow and Bone more than I liked Sweet Tooth, and I was surprised. In fact, you should watch Shadow and Bone. I think you'd fucking like it. I think you'd really fucking like it, chat. It was it was actually a lot of fun. Sarah and I sat there and watched like the whole thing. Um uh, uh, much like a YA novel, they name things. Like they got, like the, the sickness is called the sick. <laughs> like in Shadow and Bone, they call people like Oh, you're a, 
a, a, a, a fire user or whatever, you know, a flamer. Uh, you're a winder. You're an icer, which isn't the names of those things, but I've forgotten what they're called. But you know what I'm talking about, where they, where they just sort of like, now this is your literal role. Um, Divergent is a great example of this. Harry Potter is a great example. Of this. You're a <laughs> Slytherin, Gryffindor. That just d- defines your fucking entire personality. Um, but behind that stuff, there, there, there's actually a lot of cool stuff that happens in this show. And I think Shadow and Bone is better. And it's gay. You should watch Shadow and Bone. It's actually really good. And my start here with Robert Downey Jr. because he's the producer of the show. And I always just couldn't stand this guy for some reason. You ever just, you know, you look at somebody, you know what they're all about. You can see, like, you can just tell. I feel like if you have the Holy Spirit, you can look at an occult. This is, you can just tell, you know, what these people are involved in. But oh! If you, oh, okay. If you have the Holy Spirit, you can look at Robert Downey Jr. and just know what he's about. Okay. Oh, and these pictures don't really hurt the cause either, do they? I'm assuming this is some sort of, he thinks this is Illuminati because of the third eye, I close, one eye open thing. Yeah. To show you what Robert Downey's all about. He loves holding things up against his eye. Yeah. Yep. He sure does love it. Right? He must have, what is he, got a bug in his, he's got an eye booger. He just woke up, he's got a lie crust there, he's getting it out, a little eye snot. Mm-hmm. Or- has anybody ever taken a picture? <laughs> has anybody ever taken a picture and like, and like done a thing that isn't Illuminati to this guy? Like, does he think I'm doing Illuminati right now because of corn? Is this somehow a symbol? I'm doing an Illuminati chat. I'm doing it. Is this Illuminati? No, that was hydration. Hmm. Is the flower Illuminati? I gotta know. Or a fly, maybe it's a fly. Oh, true. This is a triangle. This is a triangle. I did have a few Doritos with my toasted tomato sandwich for lunch. Those are triangles. Circles, circles are kind of just four triangles stacked together, if you think about it. So are squares. I mean, just with round bases. That's kind of triangular. That's true. The letter A in Jake. Actual Jake. Ooh, AA. You know what that means? Two triangles, six, six. How many letters in actual? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that a coincidence? I think not. I think not. Just saying. And there's three A's because the second A in actual. So that's 666-666 all the way down. Jake, if you mix up the letters, spells cage. And you get put in cages when you go to hell. This is true. That's actually true. Pretty spooky. I have two eyes. And if you look at me very closely, technically, I just have one eye twice. So. Oh, he's, it's an eyelash. Excuse me. It's an eyelash. Oh, wait. Did he just fart? Shh. He's saying shh. Wow, a lot of celebrities always do that. Hmm. Oh, right. Right. It's the oath that they take of secrecy. They're sworn to secrecy. Mm-hmm. That's a Freemasonic oath. That's- it's interesting when you get to these types of people, like, I, I think they justify, the justification in their head is this, right? Someone like me would say, well, then why doesn't the Illuminati just, you know, take care of the problem? You know what I'm saying? I mean, wink, one eye, huh? triangles, uh, Illuminati stuff. I don't know anything else about Illuminati besides triangles and eyeballs, but... Um, and then, so you'd be like, okay, so why doesn't the Illuminati just take care of you? And then he would say, well, because I'm, they're hiding in plain sight. If they take care of me, it verifies their existence. So, so if they don't kill anybody, what are they, what are they doing? Just having eyes and secrets? You're apparently onto them, so what's the secret if there is none? 
I just don't know what the end game is. I watched a movie uh, not too long ago that was really bad, but I was very high, so I watched the whole thing. It was terrible. It was called, it was called Wander, and it stars the guy that was Two Face in The Dark Knight, and the guy that wasn't Will Smith in Men in Black. And it's about a dude that believes in all these conspiracies, and then they turn out to be real. But then it turns out that while they were real, also it was a government psyop to make him, to make him a patsy, so that he would be driven to kill somebody, so that they could have plausible deniability, even though two of the people that caused him to be a patsy to kill the guy were present when he killed the guy so they could have just killed him and never needed the patsy that's the kind of thinking that is is we're seeing here that's why you always see celebrities do it that's why rihanna has shh tattooed on, Aaron on her finger you know it's not because they're going shh don't tell anyone they just passed gas. Don't tell anyone, uh, what might, you know, gas. they might be the actual opposite gender they claim. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, the what? reason for... Wait, is he saying Rihanna's trans? Where it is because they're all part of a secret society. Hence, you see him putting his hand over his eye. Hence, you see him doing the A-OK -okay thing. Wait. Wait. I thought that he was against Trump. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because we're supposed to believe that the, the symbol, the 666, which they ended up hijacking and making a Republican symbol so that people who even are supposed to be linked in conspiracy theorists, that this is their symbol. That's how inverted all this stuff has gotten. That would be the 666 sign, also known as the AOK -okay sign. Yeah, we'll believe it. Sure. Um, that he's holding up here, but, you know, nothing to see here. So Robert Downey's come out. He's produced a show. Okay. And it's called Sweet Tooth. This is a lot. You're going to say, what's it about? Well, I'm about to show you. And it has to do with hybrid, a hybrid race. Oh, why is this? that sounds familiar. We hear that a lot, right? Predictive programming with a hybrid race. Movies like X-Men, right? Hybrid. Oh, these, these people are cast out as a cipher being different. Hmm. Wonder what the narrative is there. Take a listen. I mean, they're, they're animal folks. Yeah. No one knew which came first. By the way, James Brolin is the uh, narrator here, and he does an amazing job. The hybrids or the virus? Some bad people are still out there, and we don't like you because you're different. Once upon a time, bad people ruled the earth and self-destructive. So nature made everyone sick. Okay. And then a miracle happened. Called them hybrids. Your kind. We have reason to believe that you are harboring an animal child. Most people hate kids like me. Rusty. The last men have made it their mission to eliminate hybrids. Wow. And he's even got horns and antlers. Because he's a deer. Oh, you, no kidding. Baphomet, huh? No, nothing to do with it. They were just like, we'll pick, we're going to pick a, you know, the antlers here. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an antler being, yep, they're going to be born, they're a new race. Now, there's a few things you need to know before. Wait, but he doesn't have titties or hooves. Before we get into this whole thing, which I thought was absolutely, this is the funniest part, huh. possibly. And you might say, wait, okay. there's more that's actually funny. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the plot apparently he's just, he's, he's just revolves around a DC comic book. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then, why is he so slappy? He's like, okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me just show you. You can see this picture here. That doesn't look occultic, right? You know, they get the, the, the. That doesn't look occultic. Literally, um, for the record, these people are kind of a little bit of a cult. I'm just tossing that out there. And, uh,. Let's just say that this is not necessarily a favorable outlook. The skull on her head, nah, no big deal. Okay. Said, not, not a good guy. Uh, if you're like many other viewers across the globe, you've been hooked onto Netflix's newest drama, Sweet Tooth. 
and you're wondering all about it. Yeah, we're wondering all about it, all right. We already know. I guess this is about 8,000 shows with the same plot. The fantasy series is based on the DC comic book. Oh, there's DC again. Wow, right after promoting Crowley, they're up to this. No surprise. DC comic book of the same name by Jeff Lemery. Nobody cares. Uh, it follows Gus, a 10-year-old hybrid, born half-human, mm -hmm. half-deer, who true. lives a quiet life in the woods of Yellowstone. So mm -hmm. he's born half-human, half-deer. Yes. While the world hates those of his kind and is dealing with the after aftermath of a global pandemic. Whoa, that's crazy, right? So you would think, oh, they probably got the idea for the pandemic. <sighs> they, no. No. I mean, they probably took they probably took aspects of 2020 and and put it, but this is, this is this this is part of the whole thing. This is part of the whole thing. There's a moth in here. Stay away, moth. You don't get to be in my face area. You have to be over there, bro. Stay over there, bro. You don't get to be in my face. I don't want to accidentally eat you. It's gritty. Well, first of all, it's based on a comic book. But you would say, mm -hmm. oh, well, maybe they put the pandemic thing in there because, you know, we're going through the pandemic. It's 2021. They probably filmed it in 2022. Oh, sorry. No. They actually filmed it in June 2019. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So long before Event 201 and, you know, all this stuff. Event? Wow. What a coincidence. They knew that they're, I mean, not that they didn't know. Of course not. <clears throat> they were just. They must, you know, they had great intuition. No, no, no. I mean, they, um. <sighs> when did filming end for Sweet Tooth? <sighs> where, where, where? Wah, wah, wah. Let's see when they wrapped. Let's see when they wrapped. Uh. <laughs> uh. It started filming in 2019. Sweet Tooth paused production after completing the pilot episode, which was originally set to premiere on Hulu and picked up back in 2020 when the series was headed to Netflix. They completed the rest of Series 1 last year, starting in July 2020 and taking a pause due to COVID, then starting back up in September and ending in December. <laughs> All right, that took me like a second. That was okay. All right. They just coincidentally, right, created this for people who to be programmed with while they're in the middle of a plant pandemic. Mm, pan, plan, plants. What? Oh, I love plants. Don't you guys? What's your favorite kind of plant? Let me know in the comment section. Any. Please. Please. I'm going to die. I'm going to die from this. Please. Anywho, <laughs> this was filmed in 2019. So there you go for anyone who thinks, oh boy, it's, you know, it's just a theme of it. Yep. That way the programming, right? The predictive program, it works better because people are looking at a relatable world. And then you get... It's so funny that he's... Do I read the exact same article. I read the exact same article. I, 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 I literally... Look at this. When was Sweet Tooth filmed? <laughs> right there. When was Sweet Tooth filmed? Hmm. And it says, The Netflix hit only just premiered earlier this month, but it was first filmed back in 2019. The Netflix hit only just premiered earlier this month, but it was filmed back in 2019. And then it goes on to say the rest of this stuff, how most of it took place during the pandemic. I don't, I don't, oh. <laughs> how people hate this kind, right? People, oh, he's, he's a half deer, half human. 
Why would this guy hate him, right? Well, that has to do with everything that's going on. It's going to have to do with... The Sweet Tooth t comic came out in 2009, bro. 2009! Yeah, this had a plague as well, wiping out humanity. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway. <laughs> In 2009. Demonic possession, transhumanism, and you see it obviously going on right now with a certain community that's having a certain month celebrated now. They get pushed as if everyone hates them and they're different and they're told this through a narrative. And oh boy, and all the people who- But you do hate them, what? Irrespective of the narrative, you don't like people that are LGBT+, plus. what? Who aren't even really against it, we're just against the- Well, we're against it, but I mean, we're not- mm. Not the way that they make it seem like we're, you know, okay. as you saw in the trailer, someone's gonna come to the door and do something, but they want you to think that, you know? Wait, no they don't, wait, 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 wait. He's like, we're against it. We're not against that. Well, I mean, we are against it, but like, well, come on, bro. <laughs> we're just saying get out of, our, you know, this stuff's got to be taken out of our faces here because all it's doing is influencing. It was exactly part of their plan. We can get it out of our face. Whose faces? Wait, what faces? I don't. <laughs> <coughs> no, this guy is not trolling. This is his whole personality. Existing in society is not putting a thing in face. This isn't, this is show isn't gay at all. I didn't notice much gay happening. There, there was like maybe lip service to a possible lesbian relationship. Possible. It was very low-key, maybe possibly implicit. Certainly not explicit. Anywho, back to the topic. Sorry, I'm on a roll right now. The whole notion of this with hybrids, okay, is to prepare people for hybrids and a new human race. You saw it in the DC comic trailer I did with Crowley yesterday. If you didn't, you could check it out in my video section where the guy was talking about mixing alien DNA with human DNA. Mm -hmm. You've seen all the videos on transhumanism that me and many other truth channels have covered about mixing man with machine, transhumanism, <laughs> the mark, which I can't talk about anymore on YouTube, the old mark. <laughs> and I'm not talking about Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, this guy... Uh, yeah, boy, I, I don't think this guy's okay. Anyway, they are preparing people, preparing them for a different... For becoming deer? I... Type of breed. Why do you think these superhero movies, it's all about superhero? The, the things what? that they have, right? They always, people are like, who, what superhero would you be? They ask celebrities when they come on the talk shows, stupid questions like that. And people... Wait, what? We've been asking questions like that since forever. Where do you think these ideas came from? What do you think Jesus is, bro? Is Jesus not a superhero? He has Healy powers. <laughs> People like, oh, he would be Batman. <laughs> He'd be Superman. He'd want to fly. Batman doesn't have any powers. The He's the powers rich. and stuff that the superheroes have is pushing and hinting at magic and using magic to have these types of powers. That's wait, is magic real? Why does this guy think magic is real? That's what it's pushing and hinting at, and I don't care what any of the other, what any of these geeks say. I'm <laughs> saying that about Spider-Man. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, what? The X-Men is a perfect example, right? Of what? The X-Men. Oh, they're cast out. They all feel like cast outs and casters because they're different. They're. It's an allegory. It's just an allegory. That's all. <laughs> 
different. They're different. Well, how do you think they're going to get people accepting of transhumanism and hybrids and demonic, you know, these people who are demonically possessed, right? <laughs> Just the same way I said the other day in the alien video talking about how are people going to accept demons? Well, they created this thing. Demons? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? We're going to get demons? When are the demons coming? What the fuck? Just like Crowley had said, you can't talk about, you know, they aren't going to be called demons much longer. They're called aliens now. Why? So aliens are demons? Because if, <laughs> if demons showed up and they didn't have a whole script written about aliens, people would run to God. They would be freaked out. If something just popped up that looked like Lom you know, the gray alien, they'd be freaked out. They need to be conditioned. Then when it happens, they'll go, oh, but we've already, okay, we'll be accepting of it. I don't think anyone would be accepting of fucking aliens. Like, if they were gray aliens with those fucking eyeballs and shit, I really don't think that people would be like, oh, yeah, this is fine. People would lose their shit, bro. People would there's no way Americans... Wouldn't shoot at them with guns immediately. This is no different with this type of programming. You're different. You're, they call them freaks. They have, they have powers and all this stuff. This is for exactly to accept the occult, to accept possession, to accept hybrids, a hybrid human race, which is what they've been trying to do. Okay, for a long time. Well, they're have already they? doing it. I mean, what? you know, mixing man and machine. Are we? Does he mean like like if if I have if I get a hip replacement I'm like ah I'm a fucking cyborg. What is <laughs> So this is a show produced by Robert Downey Jr. folks. Robert Downey loves his eye. Loves the 666. Loves being in horrible movies. Is this guy I can't in a name prison? What he's been in. I've heard he's been in Iron Man. I'm thankful I've never uh, n the show is furries? No, but there are furries in it. I sat through that, nor will I ever, but if you have, it's okay. Don't take it personal. Just not my cup of tea. These are the things that they're showing. Speaking of. Going. These are the shows that they're pushing. These are the reasons for it. This is not creative writing. This is not a form of art. This is a form of conditioning. Okay? Does it sound crazy? It could if you're asleep. I get it. You mean you call bull? There's the furries right in front of you, dude. But you can go through all the videos to see the repetition, because I've talked about this stuff a million. Literally called bear. I think I think stallion, rhino, tiger. Times and shown repetition through movies with the same plots, the same scenarios, through the media pushing the same thing, all of it. It is all repetition to desensitize and prepare people. It's the only way that they're going to be able to do this. If they didn't do things this way, people would uprise. If they didn't make the Sweet Tooth series on Netflix, we would uprise when they definitely make real life totally real half deer, half baby individuals. People would fight against it, but they're desensitized to it. Even the whole thing going on with the one niner. They've been prepared for decades. So nobody's going, oh, it's not real. Hi, kitty. Even people who claim to be awake are like, it's real. Claim because be they are, awake. don't even realize. That. All right, dude. Okay, buddy. All right. That's, that's enough of the deer guy. He's a weirdo. Look, the only... You, want, you guys want to see an actual hybrid? I have a real hybrid for you. Half cat, half pork belly, all void. It's just Ellie. Ellie the cat. Half cat, half pork belly. 100% void. Thank you for the boops. I appreciate the boops. What was that little purr I got there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good shit. You guys want to hear some purrs real quick before the end of this video?
There you go. Way, way more. This is way better. Are you looking at the moth? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, Ellie. Are you looking at the moth, bro? You can't hunt the moth. She's going to eat the moth, dude. Oh, God. Don't eat the moth. Don't eat it. It's right there. She's chasing it. You might hear cat chitters in the background. Anyway, so that's Ellie, and she is she is a hybrid. That's true. She is literally half bacon. It's pretty rough. 